Hey guys, if you're brave, got a couple of bucks in your pocket, and you're willing to risk screwing up your flashlight, there's a neat little hack you can do that can increase the runtime and brightness of your flashlight fairly dramatically. And it's pretty easy to do, it only takes a couple of minutes and costs a couple of bucks. Now, what you're going to do, and mind you guys, I'll give you the big warning beforehand, it's really easy to screw up your flashlight like this. Whenever you're soldering, there's always that chance that solder could go someplace you don't want it, or that you overheat a component and ruin it. So, you might want to make a couple of practice runs before you get to doing the real thing, because it's real easy to screw up, screw this up. So all you need is a soldering iron, and this is my old 1980s Radio Shack $6 soldering iron. Uh, a little bit of solder, and this uh, thin stuff actually works really good for this kind of application. And some soldering wick. This is a copper braid soldering wick. Cost a grand total of maybe 70 cents. You can see it's uh, 2 millimeter width, which is just about perfect for uh, medium sized flashlights. <clears throat> and all you're going to do is basically is solder this in to bypass the springs on the flashlight. Now most flashlights are going to have a spring in the tail cap. And some will have a, a spring near the head, depending on you know the setup of the flashlight. But what you can see here, if we get this to focus, is that I actually took this copper braid and soldered it to the top of the spring and then to the bottom of the circuit board where the spring attaches. And to do that, all I did was remove that metal retaining ring with a pair of pliers. The switch comes completely out, and I uh, basically I pre-tinned the. Uh, the spring. So I took a glob of solder and put it in the bottom, took a glob of solder and put it on the top, and then I put the, spr the uh, braid in place over the blob, touched it with the soldering iron, and it fused. That uh, soldering wick will actually pull up the solder, so you can just lay it on top and it will basically suck it in and fuse it, which is really kind of cool. I know this is probably not the most easy thing to see. Hopefully we can get this to focus in close. There we go. You can see here there is the braid in the spring and it doesn't affect the spring the spring still nice and springy and what this does is this reduces the resistance of the flashlight the spring is steel and probably four or five inches long if you were to stretch it out you're replacing that and bypassing it with a piece of copper which has much better conductivity this only maybe an inch long. So you're basically lowering the resistance of your tail cap. And if you do it on the head of the flashlight, if it has that spring, you're reducing that resistance here as well. You can see that in there. And I love to see how it's kind of snaked in there a little bit. You leave a little excess. That way it's got room to kind of stretch and move around. That way it's not going to pull when it tightens and untightens and all that. So you see how that's kind of in there, just snaked around and just solder to the top there. Very simple. Once again on the head, just take out that retaining ring, the plastic, and I pulled out the driver and uh, put it in a little vise and, and soldered that in there. Very simple, very easy guys. And like I said, you need a little bit of a, a nerve of steel to do it because you can ruin things. <coughs> but um, I actually have not ruined one yet. And what you're going to see for an improvement on this, let me zoom out. I kept some some numbers. Now what I did was I measured um, the flashlight before and the flashlight after. So I ran a bunch of battery tests using the lux meter on my phone. Basically every 10 minutes checking the lux on my phone and seeing how it came out. And so I tested all different batteries and what I found is actually with the spring some of these got 92 minutes and 82 minutes. That's a 10 minute improvement and nearly like 15 or 17 percent increase in brightness so these can actually some of these show some pretty substantial gains in brightness 10 15 percent which you're not going to see with the naked eye the eyes observe brightness logarithmically so you're not going to notice 10 percent <clears throat> but you know when it comes to lighting up a larger area but this one here 86 versus 76 minutes that's you know, 10 extra minutes of runtime right there, guys. You know, this one here, you only got an extra four minutes. But you can easily gain, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight minutes, sometimes even 10 minutes on a battery. And plus, you're running 15% brighter, so it's quite an improvement. 
I know a lot of the hacks out there say it's a hack, but they really don't do much. This is one I actually sat down, tested it with numerous batteries, probably four or five different batteries, and every one of them showed a consistent result of about a 10 minute increase in runtime and about a 15% increase in brightness. So it's definitely worthwhile. Now this is not gonna work with every flashlight. Not every flashlight has a spring like this. So it's not for every flashlight. And plus two, it's only gonna work in those flashlights that draw very high amps. Because what you're effectively doing is, is removing resistance within the flashlight so that those amps remain high. So for example, <clears throat> if your flashlight wants to draw three amps and there's resistance in those springs, it may not draw those full three amps. This brings that resistance down so that your flashlight can basically reach its peak performance. Now, like I said, it's not for every flashlight. If you got a flashlight that's only running on half an amp or an amp, you might not see much difference. But for these higher end, expensive, you know, high power flashlights, it can work out to, to quite a bit of difference as you see. So it's not for the faint of heart. It's, it's, it's not rocket science, guys. You just, you know, practice your soldering for 10, 20 minutes and you can get this done. So if you guys want to see this in action, I actually have a couple flashlights. I'm going to do this too. Let me know in the comments and I will make a video and actually show a tutorial on how to do this from start to finish.